Hi, this is Jane with Green Biz Nursery and Landscaping. Today we're going to talk about hummingbirds. And you're probably wondering, what does that have to do with landscaping? Let me tell you. Say that Green Biz came over and got to landscape your yard. It is beautiful. You have got the most beautiful yard on the block. And in your yard you have some gardens. And in your gardens, of course, you have flowers. So what do flowers attract? Bees? butterflies and hummingbirds. That's how we got to this subject. That and recently I bought myself a hummingbird feeder. I love watching the hummingbirds come into that feeder. So we're going to talk just a little bit about that. Now if your yard is all landscaped, you don't have to go out there and do that, right? Because Green Biz already did it. You have time to go out and enjoy the beauty of your yard and the little critters that come to it. So talking about hummingbirds, here in North Carolina, in Fayetteville, the ruby-throated hummingbird is the only one that stays around all the time. Well, not in the winter, but it's the, it's the native one here. In the spring and in the fall during migration, we will have other kinds of hummingbirds that come through. But the ruby-throated one is the one that's gonna be staying all summer. In my yard, I have uh, about four of them. And I love to sit out there. I can hear them come flying in. In fact, I get so close to them that I can hear the, whatever it would be called, the whirring of their wings. And I love watching them come to my feeder. So this particular feeder has a rest for them to sit on. Of course, the cylinder where you put the solution. And up here at the very top is a place, a water reservoir, where I can put water so ants don't get into it. I love watching my feeders get used by these hummingbirds. By the way, if you get a hummingbird feeder, you do need to change the solution in it about every, oh, four to five days, because otherwise it can go bad. And you don't have to buy that fancy stuff in the store, the red stuff. You can make your own solution. What you do is you use um, plain water, four parts water, one part sugar. So say like a cup of water, a quarter cup of sugar, mix it all up, put it in your feeder, and go out and enjoy the hummingbirds. Now, as I said, you do need to change it about every three to five days. You need to make sure that it gets washed out in between when you're going to change it because you don't want, well, you don't want to be feeding them something bad. You don't want mold growing on it, that kind of stuff. But if you do it often enough, it won't be any problem. In your, in your garden, you probably, as I said, have some flowers. What kind of flowers do hummingbirds like? At home, they come to just all kinds of flowers. But some of the flowers listed would be, for instance, garden phlox, uh, bee balm, cardinal flower, which is also known as lobelia. It has a red flower. They like the blue salvia. They like daylilies. They like foxglove. There's just all kinds of flowers that they will come to. Another thing about hummingbirds that I didn't know is that they often, they'll come in and they have to rest. You know, we think of hummingbirds just flying all the time, but they actually do come and rest. So for instance, as I said on the hummingbird feeder, it has a little rest on it. When they come up to, to drink, they will sit on here and drink out of it. In my garden, I also have a tree that's pretty close by and they will often sit in that tree. They'll fly in, they'll sit on the tree, they'll fly around a little bit more, come over to the feeder, go back to the tree and fly away. It's just so interesting to watch them. If you don't have your yard landscaped yet, you don't have a beautiful garden with all kinds of flowers, contact Green Biz. Green Biz can come over, we can assess what you need, we can do the work for you. You can then spend some time out there enjoying nature. This is Jane with Green Biz Nursery and Landscaping. Hope to see you soon here.